In this tutorial, we will be using the onion skin of the skeleton to match our bones between our animations. We'll be using several Mixamo animations from the Mixamo library. You can go here with your Adobe account and download them for free and import them into your Unreal Engine. Once you have downloaded several animations, I have a kick here, a taunt, and a dodge. Using the skeleton, the default skeleton, that comes with Mixamo. This is an example of each of the animations played individually. We have the taunt. Checking the time here, taunting. Then we have the standing dodge backwards animation. And then lastly, we have the kick. So we're gonna combine all three of those together. Now, if you were unaware, you can go in to your character and you can actually turn on the skeleton to be used as an onion skin. Now here we have the taunt and how we enable the skeleton is we right click on the actual animation at the very bottom under display, show skeleton. We will be doing motion blending and we are gonna blend between this pose and you can see it's sliding backwards. I don't wanna snap back to where I'm doing the kick. I wanna kick from where my character has landed. So in order to do that, I'm gonna select the dodge animation that we have here. We taunt and then we're dodging. I'm gonna right click on the dodge. We're showing the skeleton. I'm gonna match this bone in the previous clip with the hips. You can see that the root bone is actually pinned on the hip. So I'm gonna select hips and you're gonna see it's snapping like that. That's not what we want. And our character is turned. Why are they turned? Okay, I'm gonna select the standing again, and we're gonna uncheck match yaw. We are only matching our X and Y translation. So playing from the beginning, we're taunting, jumping backwards, And then we're sliding forwards again because we have not set up that same bone matching with our kick. So we taunt, we jump back, and then kick. Now on the kick, right click, we have the skeleton on, we have our match X and Y, we don't wanna match the yaw, I'm gonna turn that off, right click, match with the previous bone, same thing, we're gonna match with the hip, now when we play it from the beginning, taunting, jumping backwards, and kicking. Now we're in a T-pose looking very awkward. That's not at all what I want. How do we correct that? Right click on our final animation, properties. When finished, we are going to keep state. Back to the beginning and play it once more time. Taunt, jump back, kick. I hope this quick tip was useful for you when you are blending animations together. It helps me visualize the problem when I can see just exactly where my skeletons are lining up with the previous or the clip that is coming up next. Thank you for watching. Bye now.